Let's talk about small business banking and credit cards, the best small business checking account and credit card combination for you. If you have an LLC, single member LLC, entrepreneur, solopreneur, YouTuber, influencer, whatever, you need an LLC and you need a business bank account and a great business credit card. I have four recommendations. All of them have no annual fee. They are free. It will let you maximize rewards and minimize taxes ultimately. Hi, I'm Emily Bender, the founder of Wealth Voice and Beetle Moment Marketing. I have two LLCs. I've tried a lot of different business checking accounts, business credit cards. I'm always trying to maximize points, minimize taxes, and I'm going to share with you my favorite two business banking accounts. Both of them have no annual fee, they're free, and my favorite two business credit cards. Also, neither of these have an annual fee. So first off, let's talk about the banking. There's Chase Bank and Mercury Bank. I have another video where I did a review bake-off between the two. I will link to that in the the description below make sure you check it out if you're trying to decide between one or the other but long story short they're both good and either one will work fine for you there's some benefits to mercury that's a little more high tech however you don't have a physical bank branch on the chase business complete checking there is a two thousand dollar minimum balance or you get a fee mercury does not have a minimum balance chase has physical branches mercury does not there's pros and cons to each I use both of them for different businesses. You should just pick one of these banks. It's not a big deal, it's just a checking account, but whatever you do, you need to have a separate bank account for your business. This video is for anybody that has an LLC, particularly single member LLCs for entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, influencers, YouTubers. You should have an LLC. Even if you don't have a business, you should incorporate. I'm gonna to link to my number one video of all time, how to file an LLC DIY versus Inc. file review. That'll be in the description below and I'll pop it up above as well. Make sure you watch that if you're not sure about having an LLC, just file one, incorporate. Um, otherwise you're leaving money on the table. Even if you're not sure what your business is yet, just incorporate. I explain why in that video. But anyway, once you have your LLC, you'll get your EIN, that's employer identification number. You can get that for free at irs.gov. It comes almost instantly. You do have to have the business set up first. You're gonna use that EIN. When you open these business checking accounts, not your social, it's not tied to you. You might have to sort of co-sign on it, that's fine, but primarily the account holder is the business not you, but it's all your money. So with the business bank accounts, the main thing is anytime you're earning money, you're getting revenue, sales, income, whether that's from YouTube ads or Stripe from credit card payments or a customer writes you a check to pay for consulting, that money goes into the business bank account, obviously. And I would suggest using QuickBooks for accounting, especially if you're just starting out. It's easy, you can do it yourself. When you get to the point where you are spending too much time or not sure how to do things, hire an hourly bookkeeper, hire an accountant. I've hired one a couple years into my first business and at the time it was like oh this is gonna be an expense it's this much every month but sometimes you can get it done for $150 a month which trust me it's worth it when it comes to tax time and you don't have mistakes and everything is clean so you'll just find a system with your bookkeeper if you are in the Austin area and you're looking for a great bookkeeper message me uh, put a comment or DM me on Twitter at Emily Bender I'll tell you who I use I recommend them highly so just use QuickBooks use either Mercury or Chase that's for the business bank account all business income comes into that bank account all the times that you pay somebody when you write a check when you're paying with business credit card business don't use a debit card don't use a debit card for anything ever but especially in this case that'll all just be neat and clean and not personal okay these are the business credit cards that i use and i've tried so many i have tons of credit cards i carry no debt i pay my balance off every month as you should never carry a balance on your credit card don't spend beyond your means that goes without saying but let's talk about these two cards the first one is the Chase Inc. Business Cash. This is a free card. I love this card because it earns ultimate rewards points, which are the universal reward point. They're great for any kind of travel. You can even shop on Amazon with Chase points. They're worth about 1.5 cents per point or less or more, depending how the redemption rewards work on whatever you're using. They're very flexible and you can rack them up. And the best thing about this card is that you get five extra rewards on office supply categories. So anytime you buy Office Depot, Office Max, if you're buying camera equipment if you buy anything from streaming service phone bill internet bill that's all a 5x reward merchant category and trust me they really add up over time in fact the camera that I'm filming this with the ZV1 it's a $748 camera I've paid for almost all of it with chase points I could have paid for all of it but I thought well I'll write off a couple hundred bucks on the business because when you do pay for something with points you can't exactly deduct it from your taxable income for the year so sometimes I like to actually pay in cash and just hoard the points but I'll use them later for other things I really like this Chase card.
card. It's most powerful when used combined with the Chase Sapphire Reserve. That's 3X on travel and dining. That's a personal card. I wouldn't use that for the business. And then you can also get like the Chase Freedom Unlimited, which is another free card, 1.5% cash back on everyday purchases. The Sapphire Reserve has a fee. I believe it's $495 a year. Well worth it because you get a $300 travel bonus, credits back on any travel expenses. So the fee more than pays for itself. Trust me, I've done the math. This is a great card. If you're using Chase Bank, it's very easy to get this card because they're kind of in sync from the same company, but it doesn't matter what bank you have. You can have a Chase credit card. I highly recommend this card. I've had it for many years. What does it say? Member since, oh, they don't tell you. Amex loves to tell you. And I'm like, the more years, the better. The customer service gets better when you're loyal. The second card is the Spark Business from Capital One. This is another free card, meaning no annual fee. This card's great because you get 2% cash back on all purchases. And sometimes there are even bonus categories and deals where you'll get 10% cash back on certain categories like from Home Depot or maybe you're buying equipment from Best Buy. There, there'll be rotating bonus categories there. And Capital One's just a pretty nice company. They have good customer service. They've rebranded almost like Kia used to be perceived as a lower echelon of automobiles, but they have a higher brand recognition premium because of the advertising they've done. But Capital One has done a great job on that and I really like it. And they've got those Capital One cafes, which are great. It's like a Starbucks, but it's kind of better. A little more like co-working. So these are the two business credit cards that I love. Again, the banking, you want Mercury or Chase Bank. Like I'm just simplifying it. There are other banks out there you can use. These are the ones I like and use. The most important thing when you're dealing with business banking and credit cards is to think strategically about the way you're spending. So I always check on the Chase Alternate Awards portal. Are there any deals? Are there any quarterly rotating deals? Like merchant categories that are another 5X. If it's not office supply, sometimes there's 5X or at least 3X on things like gas. You do get, I believe it's 2% cash back on gas all year round on the Chase Inc. business cash. So if you're driving for business purposes, you can write off those miles and you can buy the gas on the business. I also have links to everything I've mentioned below. These are promo links that if you apply through one of them, you will get either bonus points, cash back, some kind of goodies. So use my links below. It costs you nothing. It helps support the channel and you'll get bonus rewards for that. Pay them off every month, use them strategically, look at bonus categories. Uh, this doesn't have to be complicated. And please, please, if you're doing your business, you gotta be on QuickBooks or some accounting software. I like QuickBooks. I have a promo link below for that as well for you. Hire an accountant when it gets a little too hairy for you to handle on your own or it becomes a time suck. Make sure that you watch my video about why file an LLC tax avoidance. I will link to that in the description below and I will pop it up above as well. That's even more key than any of these kind of tactical things. It's like strategically behind it, why are you doing it? Then you do the banking, then you do the credit cards. So also how to file an LLC, my video on that. People have said that it's extremely helpful and to the point, which is, Always my goal and my style, right? Thanks for watching guys. If you have comments, anything I didn't answer, put them below. I do my best to respond to everyone. I'm Emily Bender and I'll talk to you next time. It's like, I have a selfie stick, but it's so, how do you like expand this? I don't know. If I can find my keys. I wanna talk with you guys about small business banking today. Um, I can't find my keys, but I wanted to shoot this video outside. So. I think the next video is gonna be better. Getting better and better, that's the point. Done's better than perfect. Same thing with your business, same thing with your credit cards. Just get one and start racking up points and die pointless.